Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Nordic Mango. Today it's a balmy 18 degrees here in sunny Minnesota. So if you're somewhere warm, count your blessings. Anyways, let's get on with the haul. First up here is a antique plate with fish on it. And um, I don't usually pick up plates, but I've never seen one like this. So, and um, I think this should go for at least $50. Let's see, and here's the back. You can see some Marc Havilland, France. Yep, and I'm sure you've all heard of that before. I think it has um, gold trim. Isn't that pretty? Next up we have this kind of resin, hard resin, holy family, Mary Joseph and baby Jesus. And here's the back. I'll list this for $35. Here's a neat vintage vase. I comped this in the store. I wasn't sure I was going to bring it home, but there weren't any like it. There was, I think, a couple other ones in a different pattern. I'll list this for $35. And here's the mark says minuets and it's from 1985 made in Portugal and um, the top looks like this I think that's a vase what do you guys think to the back just blank sorry about the lighting Now let's see, what can we say about this? This is one of those cans. And always pick those up they, if they're painted or, you know, have a neat exterior. They should sell. This probably may set maybe a Kleenex box. Um, it was probably made in Japan or China, old vintage China, of course. And here's the pattern inside. It's, it's really small. I've sold these before, not in this pattern. Um, I've sold one that was hand painted. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. And I'll list this for $35, I think. Here's a vintage apple cutting or slash cheese board. And it's pretty sturdy. It's red on both sides. For some reason it looks more, I don't know, aged or distressed on camera. It it looks actually more new in my light, but um, I do see some little bit of fading there. It has a lot of character. It's really large. It's about maybe 18 by 12. But I'll list this for at least $50. Now, we wouldn't ask $50 for all cutting boards. This one's just very unique and very large so um, some cutting boards go very high here's a really neat find it I'm thinking this is a soup tureen fine on the inside it's made in Persia I can't find anything like it anywhere online whoops in, oh, 
Oh, no, I can see that mark better with the camera. Well, I'll have to look that up. It's really pretty. I love it. And um, I don't know how much I'll put on this. Um, I just love how those Instagram messages pop in my video. Here's the inside of the lid. There's some minor crazing. Can you see that? That's okay. It's just kind of... I can see it with the camera. You can't really see it with the naked eye. Here's something really unique. It's a cone-shaped candle, probably from the 60s, in the Baroque style. Interesting, it's cone-shaped. I don't pick up all candles, just unique ones. I've sold a lot of candles in my day. I used to sell, um, well, I used to be able to pick up those girly candles, G-U-R-L-E-Y. They make holiday candles, and those were highly collectible and sought after until the market became saturated with them, and then the price dropped. I think I made a small fortune off them those. You know, I would go to an estate sale and get a bag of them for like 50 cents and sell them for $20 each. And that's the way it was. Now here's a vintage style John Deere metal sign. I did comp this before I bought it. It was three dollars and fifty cents so I picked it up I should be able to get at least twenty eight to thirty five dollars um, there was one that sold and I think maybe one or two listed and um, I don't know why when people see they have a rare item they price it at twenty eight dollars it's beyond me I think you should at least be able to get 35 to 50 for this but um, I don't know we'll see here's the back let's see what it says Ooh. nope I guess not it's not gonna focus for me no when I was in line the lady behind me wanted this the clerk accidentally it was laying flat on the counter and she forgot to ring it up and the lady behind me was picking it up and saying, oh, was this here? And I said, oh no, that's mine. And she said, oh shoot, I wanted that. This is a Kit Kat style clock with the big eyes. And um, there's none on eBay. But I don't think it's anything that's really high buck. I'll probably put $35 on it. I'm I'm probably going to have to make sure it works too, so. But yeah. He's a cute guy. Here's the back. It has moving eyes and tail. It takes a AA battery, not included. Oh, don't you love that? Then I have to go digging around for batteries to test this out. And there's that. This is a neat tiki style frame from Ron John Surf Shop. I hope I said that right. I think they sell a lot of clothing items. Um, this is like a 3D style frame. So, um, 
I, I saw two on eBay. Both had low prices on them. But um, I'll probably put $35 on this. It's unique. It's well made. And it's tiki style. Okay, here is my snack. This is actually what I um, bring along in the car with me when I go out sourcing. It keeps you full, it tastes good, has some vitamins and minerals. Yeah. Okay, on to the clothing haul part of this video. So if you don't like clothes, Thanks for stopping by. Okay, I'm back with the clothing part of the haul. And we'll start with this nice Escada piece. Escada by Margaret Lee. Here's the label. And this is a really nice cream color, tuxedo style blazer, probably from the 80s or late 90s early 90s um here's the tag and um this comped out really well i should be able to get um well maybe 75 to 125 so i'm happy with this piece Here's the back. It has padded shoulders. The label says pure wool, or no, not, not I'm sorry, not pure wool, new wool. So I'll have to um, research that. I'm not sure what, what that means. There's buttons on the cuff. Yeah, it's really nice. Next, we have this wool, vintage wool rich. I'm very disappointed because these didn't come out very high, which is ridiculous. Um, but I will list mine for at least 35. It's a large. I'll use some good keywords. Preppy, conservative. I don't know if to think about that more, but it's really nice. Back. I think this is from the seventies. Next up we have, well, let's go over here, talk about this. I have these two sweaters, metallic, gold and silver. Um, these are Moda International. And, um, oops, let's see. Now here's one of those pieces I immediately went over to because I just like the look of it. And look at that fabric. Made by Ellen. Some cute little detail artistic looking dress. Here's a dress by Ellen Tracy. It has some cute little gold detail. I was immediately drawn to this dress just because of the pattern. I find it very artsy. Um, and the back has this branded toggle. Yeah, it's in very, very nice condition. Hey, what are you doing here? No, 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 oh no. Babysitting. 
Here we have two Hawaiian mumu type dresses. Both are made in Hawaii. See this one actually, very touristy. It says Hawaii and Aloha. Real comfortable area. This feels like rayon. Here's the the label of this one. Whoops. Here's the label. And um, this one feels like cotton. And here's the label. Let's see what that says. Where? I don't know why I don't see what I'm doing here. Where? Oh, there it is. Okay. So. I don't know. Um, I got a good price. I got these for a good price. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have picked them up. I could get maybe, mm, I want to say $35 a piece. But um, I might, if not, I might lot them together. I do think they're the same size, and they probably came from the same closet. They were hanging next to each other on the rack that came out at the thrift store so yeah they're very pretty colorful kind of fun to buy and easy to list kind of nice to have some color around i guess so that's the end of my haul. So much for watching and um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go now and I got to get to work and you guys have a great day.